back and to the point. WDEN News 12 at 11, live in HD, starts now. Good evening on this cold, chilly Saturday evening. I'm James Mahon. With a deadline looming for the Affordable Health Care Act, City Councilman Chris Anderson is facing his own ultimatum. It's more than just putting on a green shirt and some shamrock earrings, right James? I didn't even do that. I feel bad. Oh, <laughs> I didn't do that. I'll give you my shamrock earrings when we're done. How about that? I don't know if I could pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> so Chattanooga's Kelsey Connections were on show for St. Patrick's Day over the weekend, but they're also on show on Tuesday today. You're here with us tonight to talk about the addictions that we all do have uh, to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, that kind of thing. How bad can it really get, Chloe? Well, the addiction thing is something that I struggle with. The extension has not been ruled out. We could see a major shakeup of Tennessee's nearly 60-year-old annexation laws soon. In a News 12 update, the Senate passed a bill yesterday allowing you to vote on whether or not you want to be annexed. But the bill still has to pass the House next week. Because those in Chattanooga from that movement and those activists are now seen as kind of experts in that field uh, because they've been at it consistently for so long um, and it just goes to show that there's people who are suffering with a lot of foreclosures there's a lot of bureaucracy and messing going on <laughs> I put a little bit of english translation beside them just to add to the confusion so you don't even know which one was which but red bank remains the same <laughs> folks red bank is the same in gaelic or in english the man charged with the murder of a security guard at a dalton bar remains behind bars according to the dalton daily citizen 20 year old orlando ramirez had his bond here and continued until august Ramirez is charged with murder and two counts of aggravated assault in the slaying of Bruno Rodriguez. Detectives say Ramirez shot and killed Rodriguez because guards refused to let him inside the bar because of his age. Megan O'Dea, Chloe Morris, thank you very much for your time. So folks, if you're heading to bed tonight, do take extra care, turn the phones off. Chattanooga police investigate the city's latest homicide. It happened late Monday night in the 2200 block of Wheeler Avenue. Officers found a man dead inside his vehicle. He had at least one gunshot wound. Police do not have any suspect information. If you know anything about this crime, call Chattanooga Police. In Athens, police nab quite a few burglars who they say are teenage girls. The mother of a juvenile called police Tuesday to say her daughter may have broken into a beauty salon. I think the building could have been um, an integral part of a Southside revolution. But where it's going now, you're going to bring, you're going to put these guys in an environment where they can throw as many parties and as many events as they want and bring in as many people as they can. They're amazing at social and digital media. They're amazing getting their brand and their name out there all across the South. And you're putting them right in the heart where they can have, they can be a fulcrum.